Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, A Little Bit of Everything with Erin. Today I'm going to show you two super easy and quick tricks to get an image that you're placing vinyl on onto your silhouette so that you can use that as a template for your vinyl to make sure you get your measurements correct. This scenario, we're using a license plate. This blank is really cool because it comes in black and in white. The best thing to do is get a piece of paper that's bigger than the object and you're gonna use a marker to trace around it. And you would take a photo of that and then trace it in silhouette. Now I have done this a few weeks back with my daughter's handwriting. I will link that video below because I didn't go through all the steps because we've already done that. But I just wanted to put a little reminder on here for anyone new. Just go down into the description box and click that link to watch the other video to see how to fully do that. Now we'll go to the silhouette so I can show you the other way. Oh, and if you do buy these blanks, make sure you peel the clear plastic off the black side that's on there. Okay, so so something basic in shape like the license plate, we can go into our drawing tools and pick up the rounded rectangle and we can measure that out to size and then easily make that ourselves by just pulling it down to the correct size. Then you would grab that again and you would make the holes that go in the four corners. And I'm just gonna speed this part up for you. So once you have everything where you want it, you can select it all and make a compound path and fill it with color. And now you know where you can and cannot put vinyl. I already have one here ready and made. So let's cut that vinyl out and put it together. Okay, everything is cut out. So I'm just going to kind of fast forward through the weeding because I'm sure you know how to weed and you don't want to watch this. So to transfer the vinyl over, I'm going to use some contact paper. I just picked this up at Walmart in the kitchen section. This is a scrap piece from a tube that I just finished. The piece is obviously a little big, so I'm just going to cut it down to the size that I need. So I'm just going to put that piece of contact paper on top of the red stop sign and layer that on top of the white so that that background pops. I'm just going to add each different phrase and color to the license plate. Just wanted to let you know that you do not have to seal this, especially if you're using Oracle 651. Um, this isn't going to come off of here. It's going to stay on there pretty, pretty good. I use shower curtain rings, just regular silver rings, and I put those through the holes on the top, and that way the sign can hang off of the car seat especially when they're little babies that you put the car seat in the stroller and it's a really nice little touch so that um, people just won't touch your baby. They're big germs for the little kids, especially when they have the transplants and their immune system is not as strong anymore. Okay guys, I'll show you this finished project here at the end. I did want to say thank you for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my page. Please give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. Share it if you want to, that always helps me out. And if you hit that bell, you'll get notifications anytime I post new videos. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I do try to answer all your guys' questions. Alright guys, until next time, happy crafting!